16 inmates at the Sousa Baranowski prison are now facing charges for this attack that injured four corrections officers. Today, the grand jury handed up 109 indictments in connection with the case. And we learned that only one of the officers has returned to work. WBZ's Paula Eben has the latest. Paula? Lisa and David, the 16 inmates charged in the January 11th attack inside the prison are facing charges ranging from assault and battery to kidnapping. Surveillance video from the prison shows the attack. You can see the inmates surround a corrections officer and attack him. When he calls for help, the responding officers were also attacked. Four officers ended up hospitalized and the prison was in lockdown for weeks. Today, the state senator, whose district includes the prison, said the charges don't go far enough. They get attacked every day and they need our support. So we're out here today not just to show our support for our law enforcement who are patrolling our streets, but our law enforcement in our prisons who are keeping us safe from these convicted criminals. The Department of Corrections released a statement saying DOC personnel work every day to provide a safe environment for inmates, staff, visitors, and volunteers. We are relieved that the injured officers are recovering and will support District Attorney Early offices, Early's office with their investigation as necessary. Earlier this month, lawyers for three inmates sued the state, claiming that after the attack, prisoners were beaten and tortured in retaliation and denied access to their lawyers. The Department of Corrections has denied the abuse claims. David and Lisa.